Adam Nip here with Warden Don McKay for another edition of Web Chat with the Warden. It is uh, July, Don, and so that means only one council meeting this month and county council dealing with a number of topics, but I uh, wanted to talk with the, about the landfill first. Now, your peer review team uh, has come up with a report commenting on what, on what Walker has done so far and uh, some concerns there, and especially in terms of giving you guys as the municipalities uh, time to comment on uh, what's going on. Certainly the landfill is a multi-staged uh, proposal and uh, very complicated. So initially it's a terms of reference. So there's an initial terms of reference which we as a peer review team have commented on. Then that goes uh, to Walker and they submit a final terms of reference to the ministry and then there'll be comment period. So that's where we're asking for an extra extension instead of 30 days, 60 days because rather than, uh, because at that point we want all four uh, air, municipalities to be able to comment, so that would be Zora, Ingersoll, and Southwest Oxford, as well as the County of Oxford. So with the scheduling uh, around the summer, that's why we're wanting the extra time. Very important because the terms of reference establish Walker's uh, requirement then to go through their studies. So if it's not identified in the terms of reference, it's very difficult to get it in afterwards, so that's why the focus of attention here. Happy with what we're getting from the peer review team so far? Certainly the peer review team is a group of experts uh, and we're very confident that they've identified the areas that need to be uh, considered and uh, that's again that's just the identification. The actual studies and the review of those studies that will be uh, forthcoming. It is a very long process. Also wanted to get into uh, smoking amongst youth. We have a pretty good rate. 96% of the youth don't smoke here in Oxford County, but um, you've been kind of pressing this issue. You wrote a letter to the province last year, and now we're starting to uh, follow up more on that. We well, certainly, it's, it's very important because uh, the smoking is one of those uh, behaviors that causes health problems. And it's not just the cost, it's the, uh, the health of the individuals and the secondhand smoke that's such a uh, concern definitely starts in youth, it's very addictive, and so anything that can be done to prevent uh, youth from becoming addicted is where the energy should be uh, channeled. So far, most of the energy has been around helping youth uh, uh, stop smoking, and so I was suggesting, what about uh, considering some things that would uh, prevent the addiction from starting? So while it's illegal uh, to buy uh, cigarettes or to sell them to youngsters, uh, once the youth have them, um, they seem to be able to freely smoke. So if you pass by our high schools, it's embarrassing that uh, so many young people, obviously underage, are smoking in view of uh, full public. And so what can we do there to encourage the province? If they're serious, let's get some simple uh, seizure of those and disposal. We're not looking for charges, but let's take the cigarettes out of the hands of people that are too young. I think the province will listen. I would hope that they do because they uh, they do that with alcohol. If the police see an underage person with alcohol, they can uh, stop them and seize it. They can choose also to lay charges. I think it should be considered with uh, cigarettes and smoking as well. Certainly an interesting debate. And uh, one thing uh, that caught my eye while going through the county agenda was the fact that uh, water and sewer rates for the next three years are going to be coming down the proverbial pipeline. Any hints as to what we might see with those rates, or have you even seen them yet? No, we haven't seen them. Uh, what's in front of us is to uh, the process to engage the public in consultation. So we, we need to establish and agree on that this will be our procedure. But I would encourage the public, um, yes, there will probably be a significant increase by way of a percent. But when we're starting at close to a dollar per cubic meter, so that should, a cubic meter should uh, provide for household needs. Um, and so 10 cents a day extra will be a 10% increase. Sounds huge, but uh, when they add 10 cents to a liter of gas uh, that you consume many uh, through a day uh, or on uh, soft drinks, even the amount of bottled water, uh, people have no problem paying a dollar, a dollar fifty for a bottle of water, and yet we're providing it to your home for a relatively uh, very low cost. So that's the consideration. So if it's a larger increase, make sure you remember how inexpensive it is to start with. Certainly one way to look at it. So August is when we're going to see those rates come down? 
Uh, yes, and uh, the final public meeting won't be until uh, after that, uh, but that will be uh, what the time that we'll be engaging the public uh, to get their feedback. We need to uh, both ensure the adequate operations today and also build up reserves so that we have that secure, safe water and uh, also uh, equal to that, the wastewater, making sure that we uh, have it cleaned up before we release it back into the environment. Okay, so we'll watch for those and uh, other issues coming before County Council in their only July meeting this Wednesday. Thanks, Don. Thank you.